Hey, what's going on guys? I am out here doing some field work in some not so nice uh, weather. You guys can see how like just the grass is, you probably can't see, but look at, you can see my, my trail from my cart in the grass because it's so wet and just gross. Um, <clears throat> but I want to get better. And so I'm out here practicing because there will be times where I play in tournaments in this type of weather, you know? Um, and so I'm out here practicing. Today I'm gonna work on my forehand. Many of you guys know that I throw with one finger, um, but that doesn't help create a lot of distance. Now there are some pros who do throw with one finger. Um, I played with Paul Uliberry the other day and talked to him about it and he said, yeah man, there are some people that are really good that just throw with one finger. And if I'm more accurate and more consistent with one finger, then I'm gonna stick to that. But I'm gonna put it to the test today, okay? So I am going to test um, my distance and my accuracy. I've got about a 340 foot shot or so to this trash can over here that I'm aiming at. Um, I don't even know if my sidearm can go that far with one finger at this point um, because I've always used it as more of like an accuracy touch type shot. Um, but I'm working on it. So today we're gonna go over some tips for accuracy in your sidearm, getting a better sidearm, and all of that kind of stuff. And obviously the biggest tip of all is practice. If I wanna get better at my sidearm, I need to come out to a field and I need to throw and I need to figure out my release point and how the disc reacts when I release the disc from that point. So let's go ahead. I got a whole bunch of fairway drivers and distance drivers here that we're gonna throw and uh, hopefully I can get a little bit better today. So one thing about sidearms that I think is pretty important to note is that the run-up isn't as important with a sidearm as it is in backhand. Um, so much of it is in your wrist motion, in your arm motion, and just like your core and all of that kind of stuff compared to the aggressive run-up that you have. Um, and at least for me personally, if my run-up if I try and go too fast on my run up or anything, I'm not as accurate, I'm not as consistent or anything like that. So first off, I would encourage you guys to have a smooth, almost walk up to a lot of your shots. So like grab your disc and just do a, a quick walk up like that. You guys probably couldn't hear me. Just do a quick walk up, a step up. Take one to two steps um, and I can guarantee you that you'll be way more accurate than that, doing that than if you we're to run up and do something like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I've got a couple of sergeants in my bag that I'm gonna throw. Um, we're gonna start off throwing with one finger. So I throw like this. This is my forehand grip right here. A lot of pros that you see will get both fingers in here. And that feels super stable. I honestly just haven't practiced it. And so that's why I'm out here. But first we're gonna start off with the one finger and see how we do, see how our distance is and how our accuracy is as well. You guys can see the trash can out there. A little flex shot, y'all might lose that in the sky too. All right. Way off to the left with that one. Flex shots I'm not really used to that much. But these are pretty, uh, these are more overstable. I'm gonna throw a, um, a raider here. So like I said, there's actually a left to white right wind a little further down there. I can kind of feel it right here, but it seems like it's coming through the woods. I'm following this little bend and then putting out there, so. I need to aim a little bit more left here. So it's probably isn't the best time to be working on my sidearm, but I play year round, so you know, I guess it is actually. Throwing this kind of beat in felon here. Oh, that didn't stand up like I thought it would. My accuracy is really bad right now. I want to try uh, throwing the grace here. Oh, that's funny. Man, that's all good. That's down there too, around 340 or so, maybe 320. All right, so crazy left to right wind here. Woo! 
<laughs> That's money. There we go. And then last but not least, my favorite distance driver in the world. Oh, come back. Man, that got lift on it. All right, so the trash cans right here that I was aiming at were about 330, 340 away. The Grace is in a really good spot. Same with the Escape, that held up really well. And then both of these are Sargents, which would probably put me at about 35 feet out. So that's about 300 feet. We got the Raider, um, we got a Felon. The World is over there on the road somewhere. My other Felon right there. Um, so it looked like the flex shots with the, with the um, Sargents were actually pretty good. Um, but again, all of them kind of ended up over here on the left side. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to throw with both fingers and see how that changes things. All right, so now I'm going to throw these with two fingers, still aiming at the same target. Most of my drives just a second ago were around 310. Some of them were uh, maybe 325. So we'll see if we can get more distance um, here and see if we can actually be a little bit more consistent as well with the two finger grip. Get down there. Nice shot. That was the world. Alright, gonna throw this fell in here. Alright, that looks pretty accurate. Now again, I've only thrown two finger sidearms maybe uh, 40 times when I've tried practicing it in the past. I feel like the biggest thing with it is just a good fluid release and shot. It feels way better, at least that's what I'm noticing so far. All right, throwing this Raider. Oh! Even with the slip we got down there, um, but that one was probably around 300 or so. All right, so here's Sergeant number one. Out of that one. Woo! Wow, that's parked. That was a really, really solid shot. And if I'm honest, y'all, right off the bat, my hand, my hand doesn't hurt as much. Um, and I feel like I am a little more like fluid and relaxed. Um, it feels very comfortable. I feel like I'm only throwing like 70%, maybe, maybe 80. Um, <clears throat> So I like it. It's definitely something I need to practice, but I'm liking it so far. All right, and the last sergeant in the bag. Get up, get up, get up. Woo! Dude, that was a rip. Wow. Yeah, that one's definitely, that definitely had the full 340 on it. Um, that felt good. I feel like it came out flatter instead of up here or down here, so. That one felt really good. All right, let's try the Grace again, which is a, uh, a little stable, overstable disc, I would say. Another money one. Yeah. Well, guys, I mean, <laughs> after just this one little round of practicing with two fingers, um, I, I don't think the confidence is there yet because I've been throwing with one finger for years. Um, so I still got to get that confidence, but man, I, I can definitely see the benefit for sure, especially with my distance. Wow, that's pretty too. I didn't give that enough, uh, I didn't throw that flat enough. All right, we got the Sapphire here. This one should actually be pretty cool. Now this one's gonna have a lot of action on it. I gotta really release it with a hyzer. It's a negative two two. I feel like it's more negative one two maybe. Um, but either way, I can still turn this over super easily depending on what I do with my wrist. Whoa, okay. Park 
marked again. All right, gonna throw this felon as well. And I'm actually gonna try and rip on this one, see how far we can get it. That's solid, that's still even far. So, um, just right off the bat, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna work on changing. Um, because maybe some of it was me figuring out how I needed to throw from the first set of discs that I threw. Um, but I do think that I feel a little bit more comfortable after throwing all of those. Um, and they, they honestly seem to be more accurate. We'll find out in just a second, at least for the most part, a lot of them are within 10 feet. All right, so again, this is about 330, 340, um, based off of the, the tracker on U-Disc. You guys can see we got the World, we got the Grace, we got the Sergeant, we got the Felon, we got the Sapphire. We got the other Sergeant, we got the other Felon, and the baskets are right here. So I think it's pretty clear, like I can't deny at least this accuracy right here on a 340 foot sidearm. Um, that's pretty good. I, I genuinely think that I'm gonna be changing. Now I'm gonna do some touch shots with like putters and mid ranges and see how I feel doing that. All right, so I wanna throw a couple of these and see what type of distance I can get. Like really rip it, still kind of try and be accurate um, and just aim towards the back corner uh, and see how far I can throw it. All right, gonna throw this Ballista Pro and really try and crank on it. Give me a full flight. Yeah. That wasn't really I was where I was aiming, honestly. I'm gonna throw the uh, Royal Grace. Oh yeah. Gonna throw this felon, and then I'm gonna throw a raider, and then the world. Woo, that's pretty. That was good. The wind definitely pushed it down, though. All right, got this raider. Come on. Nice, solid flex out of that. That's right next to the trash can. All right. I'm expecting this to be the farthest one. I really don't want to turn it over, but I want to get a full, like straight controlled flight out of it. Oh, come on, come on, full flight, no! Gosh, I turned it over. I want to try the Sapphire again. Get up, get up, get up. Ooh. What? Holy crap! That that might be pushing four. I gotta go see. Well, guys, the uh, Raider that I threw was about 350. Well, I'm sorry, the Ballista Pro was, even though it landed, it rolled. Um, but that Sapphire went 365. Now, obviously, it says like plus or minus 20 feet. Um, so. I, I don't know. We'll stick around there. With that Sapphire sidearm, that's solid, man. Um, I feel really, really confident with the fact that that's how far I was just able to throw that. Um, but now we're going to work on some touch shots. I'm going to throw towards this uh, telephone pole right here. And uh, we're going to see how we feel throwing some up shots with the uh, sidearm as well, with two fingers. Starting off with the fuse. Now this is probably only 70, 80 feet maybe, something like that. Hit the pole. Oh! Solid. Now the fuse goes pretty straight, which is why that turned over a little bit, especially with the sidearm. Anvil I'm going to have to uh, force over a little bit or just throw a spike hyzer with. That's putting. Same with the uh, Justice here. Ah, see I started that one off too far right. Claymore is gonna go pretty straight, just kind of like the, uh, the Fuse did. 
All right. We got the prototype Emac Judge. And you guys know I hate flicking putters. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I can't get him to land well, but I've also never really practiced it either. Another Judge Chameleon. That's good. Still landed at too much of an angle. Going to throw the truss. Hit the pole. Ooh. And then last, this uh, just hybrid pier. Yeah, so uh, putters is definitely something that I struggle with, but obviously that's why I'm out here practicing. Um, I can very handedly say that I'm going to be switching to at least practicing with two fingers um, until I get super confident with it and then just switching that up in my game. Um, comment down below how you guys throw your sidearm, what grip you use, whether you use fan grip or this little grip, you know, whether you use two finger or you use this one or you, what's the, what's the fan one? How do you, I don't even freaking, I don't even like this. Um, or if you use one finger like I do slash used to. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. See you on the next one. Peace out.